couple of uh, quarts of hot water and I used an oxygenator. Okay, and many different lines make an oxygenator. Okay, so I put this in the water and I give it a good uh, stir. A couple of quarts of the traffic lane cleaner and you pick any traffic lane cleaner that you want according to the pH you want to use. Okay? So I got some traffic lane cleaner here. And I'm just going to put a couple of quarts right here. Okay, that looks good. Put this over here. The traffic lane cleaner goes into the bucket. Now, if you're cleaning commercial, pick a traffic lane cleaner at 11 or 12. If you're cleaning residential, pick the 9.5 traffic lane cleaner that you like. That's why I'm not suggesting the exact brand. Because there's a lot of brands out there, right? You pick what you like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 6 ounces of organic citrus in here. Okay? Four, six. That goes here. I cap this off. Okay, what you can have here, what I have here, is an oxygenated 9.5 pH free spray with a co solvent boost, which uh, citrus uh, products like Citrusol and products of that nature are co solvents that can be mixed in water based products or solvent based. So this formula will have a little boost of hydrogen peroxide, a grease cutter, oxygen, traffic lane cleaner, and organic citrus to cut grease and dissolve oils and provide natural deodorization, okay? So what's gonna happen is this is gonna go here, okay? Okay, this is a little tiny funnel, okay, uh, Joey? Because I'm telling you, with this little funnel, I'll dump the stuff all over. It smells like a bucket of oranges, right? And again, we appreciate your patience, but some of these formulas, the oxygen only lasts 60 minutes in suspension before it dissipates into the air. That doesn't mean that, you know, you have to throw the formula away. That just means 60 minutes later, you're not cleaning with the oxygen. And if you have really dirty carpet, you'll have to re-energize, okay, with more oxygen. So basically, thanks, buddy. Basically, what I did was I made one consistent hydrophores, okay, full of what's called pre-treatment. Then what's going to happen is this is going to go here. There's a one to eight tip on here, which means for every part detergent that comes out, the machine, the uh, sprayer will mix in eight parts water. So we're not using a lot of detergent. We're going to water this bottle down. There we go. Probably just turn the pump on. Okay, and this is going to be your pre spray. Give it a little shake. Okay, and we're going to come up here and we're going to start up here on the carpet. Okay, we're going to give it a nice pre spray. Because this carpet's really dirty, right? Uh, this is about uh, to get the pre spray down. We shouldn't be standing watching, right? I'll immediately, right? Do some nice agitation. Now we're speeding it up, obviously, for class time today. We have a lot to do today. It's nice to give the carpet, right, 10, 12 minutes dwell time after the agitation, but we'll try to, you know, move it along a little bit. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I see some grease spots. And again, every manufacturer makes a volatile dry solvent spotter. So you pick the one from the line that you like. We don't want to delaminate the carpet. We just want to put a little bit on before extraction, right? If it's real bad, we can even tamp with the towel and the brush. But I could just take a very small amount, a little grease spot, a little grease spot, okay? Now, fly strokes. This, I overlap. Nice. Now, this formula that you're seeing, on this absolutely horrendously filthy textile is a 9.5 pH that's cutting through that like that. So if you have good synergistic formulations, you'll cut greases and oils using lower pH. Who wants to try a, uh, a wand like this? Anybody like to try a newer 
uh, innovative wand that's easy on the back and things like that. Give it a shot. Drop the coat, <coughs> right? Okay. That's a boss if I like it, though. I didn't want to crack it. How's that feel, Pete? That's a lot better than that metal one I got. That looks great. It's easy on the back. Easy on the back, right? So, in other words, this is the IICRC Professional Textile Cleaning Course, right? Designed to bring us as professional individuals and textile cleaners to another level that understand branding, sales, marketing. In addition to high-end textile cleaning, we're trained as professionals to be able to clean any type of textile.